Sonia and I'm nine. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. My question is, what is Armed Forces Day and how did it start? Armed Forces Day was first celebrated in 1950 and was meant to honor all branches of the U.S. military on one day. Hi, it's Mary from Idaho. My grandpa was a Marine in World War II. What do the different branches of military do? The U.S. now has six branches of the military with U.S. troops serving on land, at sea, in the air, and even in space. The Army is both the oldest branch, almost 250 years old, and it's the largest with over one million soldiers. But the Army is actually led by a civilian, the Secretary of the Army. The Army is the world's most powerful land fighting force. And what they do is really protect our country. The U.S. Navy is the force at sea. The Navy has 298 ships, including 11 aircraft carriers that are basically enormous floating cities. Navy ships launch aircraft and some even fire missiles and torpedoes. The United States Navy defends our oceans from pirates. We help ships and people if they're in distress. We bring hospital services and disaster relief to countries that are in need. We make sure oceans are safe and protected for all ships and all travel. The Marine Corps is a separate branch, but is actually part of the Department of the Navy, and Marines often travel to missions on Navy ships. Marines have a reputation for being the most disciplined service, which is important because they fly the President on Marine One and are responsible for U.S. Embassy security all over the world. Marines are also extremely proud of their history and traditions, heroic battles like Iwo Jima, Guadalcanal, and Bella Wood. The U.S. Air Force hasn't been around as long as the Marines. They just became a separate military branch in 1947, but they have a huge mission. Our main mission is to fly, fight, and win air power anytime, anywhere. We do much more than fly airplanes. It's all of our airmen that actually help secure our bases. It's our airmen to do uh, cyber to work on computers. It's our airmen to provide medical care. Uh, and those that maintain the airplanes. And while the Air Force has more than 5,500 aircraft, including about 2,100 fighter jets, the Air Force also oversees U.S. nuclear missiles. A separate branch that is also part of the Department of the Air Force is Space Force. This service is totally focused on space. Space Force is the newest and smallest force. Two and a half years old and about 7,100 people, the members are called Guardians. They work to protect the U.S. in space. Guardians do really cool things. They launch rockets, they put satellites into space, they operate those satellites, they protect and defend them, so every American can enjoy the information that comes off of those satellites. I'm Aveline and I'm nine years old. Can women join any of the branches? And were there any restrictions that women couldn't join any of the branches? Those are great questions. Not only can women join all of the military branches, but the first woman was just confirmed to lead one. Next month, Admiral Linda Fagan will become the first woman to head up the U.S. Coast Guard. Our brave workforce operate small boats like the one behind me. They drive it really fast. We jump out of helicopters to save people, and we operate big boats all around the world to help keep you safe. The Coast Guard is responsible for patrolling 95,000 miles of U.S. coast. They rescue people at sea and search ships for things like illegal drugs. Hi, my name is Diane. I'm seven years old, and my question is, what training do you have to do to drive a Humvee or tank or jet or a submarine? Thanks. Thayer, hey, that's a great question. So, just like you might practice the guitar or you might go to baseball practice or even go to soccer practice, in the Navy, we're practicing every single day. Our soldiers get a lot of training. To actually drive a tank, you have to go to school for about five months. Well, it starts off with uh, doing well in school. And then you, uh, uh, you go off to college and then you uh, get a chance to go to pilot training. You can't be afraid of heights. And it's almost like riding a roller coaster. And you know firsthand. Right, I've, uh, I'm a, started out as an F-16 pilot. Flying fighters is something I wanted to do uh, once I came into the Air Force, and I've loved every minute of it. Six military branches, each with a huge mission to keep you and your family safe on Armed Forces Day and every day. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.